Big round of applause. Bike in the photo to go to the Agra, the Machanaki. So, no, sir, it's okay to make us a company. Oh, why don't you share with us what were your thoughts behind designing this motorcycle? And then we'll go to the next sketch. In your own words, in your own comfort. Explain to everybody what was your thought process behind this bike. Explain some of the parts. Some of Very boring for me. And I was sketching all the day. Right there. So I decided to make bike for myself. It's a, I'm a huge fan of Vardanji motor. But I saw the video in the Power to the Rider. I have seen a, I have every video of Vardanji in my lab. I'm a huge fan of this Shevardhan. He just teach me that the everything is all about attitude. This one of his video uh, was a nice theme for me. Actually, this uh, vehicle is just like a ghost rider. I really mean to made like that. Actually, it got, uh, got a monocoque suspension plus another suspension on the back. It got a V2 engine. Actually, I like a uh, powerful bike. So actually, I mean to make something like that. I'm an automobile engineer, so I created with my own vision. Every, uh, most of the uh, motorbike made by the Vardanshi is used uh, to tune this friend fork now. Friend fork and friend uh, alloys and caliper assembly and the discard from Tutan Bajaj, isn't that right? Alloy ah, and uh, the disc brake, and the caliper assembly. Uh, mainly uh, seen that. That's why I am used a Tutani type alloy and uh, uh, this is the disc, disc and this is the caliper assembly and a fork. And I have made a projector headlamp which something looked at the infinity. Uh, then uh, tank, I uh, got a V2 engine and uh, uh, I didn't draw the silencer because it's back side other, on the other side. I got an air filter, the fuel injector, so I didn't mean to do any carburetor right here. Just I went for it. I made a swing arm with the monocoque suspension included with another individual suspension on both sides. And a belt drive. Actually, he had not connected it. <laughs> I didn't get time for that. And it got a huge alloy, just like 200 mm tire back and 120 mm front tire. 120. Then a uh, back end wheel type. You usually use end wheel uh, front disc for the back wheel, right? So I made it like that itself. The caliper assembly and the uh, dual seats, the brake lights and a matching back mud guard. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Windy. Uh, he's my best friend. So he will decide. He was the one who suggested me the idea. So, Vindicator. He is calling it the Vindicator. Uh, this is the this is the other design also done by them. Two words about this bike. I don't have any such words for this. Just usually made it. Thank you. Let's have a big round of applause. It's a great, great initiative, and and it's really one of the very accurate uh, you know sketches I've seen where all the parts go inside and and uh, from a. From a practical point of view, it makes sense, you know. There's actual suspension, there's actual linkages, so good effort. The first time, good. Maybe we'll have a great, great future. Thank you. So, it's nice that, you know, uh, someone from amongst you all has taken the initiative to make uh, great sketches. 
and a direction in motorcycle design. Uh, I don't think that anybody is born a designer. It, it is a, it is a skill that you learn as you go along. You may have certain uh, you know skills like sketching, but you have to cultivate design. So what we are going to do in the next uh, 